Hello and welcome to the conference today. I would like to thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your busy schedule to spend with me here today. My name is Ursula Huntley and I am the Executive Director of Unlimited Future, which is a small nonprofit in Huntington, West Virginia. Our mission is to help individuals start and operate successful businesses throughout the tri-state. Unlimited Future is a micro enterprise incubator service center. We provide business coaching, business training, incubator services, and educational workshops. Since the start of our business in 1991, the incubator has helped more than 150 businesses open and operate creating more than 300 local jobs. Unlimited Future is passionate about promoting change for people in our community. What we're gonna talk about today is how to navigate your business in the midst of a pandemic. First things first, stop, take a deep breath, and relax. Everything is figure outable. Now, let's take a moment, grab a sheet of paper, and let's begin to create a plan. The first thing you wanna do is identify all the individuals that you owe in your business. Once you have done that, you want to identify all the individuals that owe your business money. Then you wanna take a moment and you wanna compare the two. You wanna assess the situation. Are you in the red? Are you in the black? Are you better off than what you thought? A lot of times when we just think about things, we have a tendency to make the situation worse than what it really is. So that's why I really want you to take time, put it on a sheet of paper, and then examine that sheet of paper and look at what the numbers are telling you. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna go back through your list of everybody that you owe and ask yourself, what is on this particular list that I can cut? Are there subscriptions that you can take off? Are there uh, marketing things that you don't really absolutely need right now? You wanna go back and what we call in the business world, trim the fat. Those excess things that make you look fancy, you may not want to do in this particular time. Now you want to create what's called a SWOT analysis. You want to do a SWOT analysis on your business so you can gain clarity of exactly what your strengths and weaknesses are so that you can actually leverage your strengths, minimize your weaknesses, build on your opportunities, and forecast for your threats. Here are some tips to help keep the lights on. We're going to discuss funding, how to pivot, and build support. Funding. You may want to look for short-term financing through your local bank. Also, you would want to look and talk to them about a short-term uh, line of credit would be another resource for you for funding your business through this difficult time. Also, you might want to look at refinancing your space if you have equity in a building. And another option is if you have equity in your home and you want to refinance your home, you can use that as well. Another great source for funding is crowdfunding. Yes, the GoFundMe accounts that people use is a great resource for uh, fundraising. Another fundraising source called Kiva Zip who actually, they actually offer no interest loans for up to $15,000. And they're great to work with. So if you need more information, you can feel free to call our office at 304-697-3007 and we can connect you with them. Another thing you might want to do is talk to uh, lenders about um, decreasing your payment or decreasing your interest that you owe them. 
I know the SBA has a program to where if you already have a loan with them, you can go talk to them about re, um, reworking your interests during difficult times. Also, the SBA is a great resource for funding as well. They provide loans, and we at our organization, we can help you put a loan packet together to present to the SBA for funding. The next thing we want to talk about is pivoting. You will want to reimagine your business model. We are in different times, so it's not business as usual. So think outside the box. How can I create a different business model that will allow me to leverage my strengths and continue to provide my services and products that I have right now? The next thing is look at different service options, how different ways to deliver your product or service. Do you have a website that offers your product online? If you have a service, how can you deliver that particular service virtually? So look at all your options of how you can deliver your product or service. And last but not least is building an online presence. If you don't already have an online presence, you are missing the boat. Ask yourself, what are some things that I can give to people a value that would improve their life? And then you want to build your brand around those things that you can give away at little or no cost that add value to people's lives. And that's one way you can start to build your online presence. You want to look at building a support system around your business. You can do that several different ways. One is how in the world can you make your payments lower? So credit card companies and people, uh, lenders, they want some type of income coming in. So you are at a point to where you have a little bit of leverage to where you can call your lenders and ask for them to work with you on lowering your payments or at least lowering your interest rate or possibly deferring your payments for a couple of months until the end of the note. So you want to look at who in my network would be willing to help me. The other thing that you want to do for support is you may want to look at contacting credit counseling services or a debt settlement service to actually, they would fight for you for a small fee. They can um, call your, all your lenders and work those things out for you. So now let's talk about some key focus points that you should concentrate on whether business is good or business is bad. Um, you always want to look at how can I increase my customers and also how can I diversify my streams of income? What are some other options of ways of additional streams of income that I could add to my portfolio for my business? Then start asking yourself questions as to how I can get this done or what can I do differently instead of always looking at things in, a, in the sense of, I can't do this because I don't, what, and fill in the blank with whatever your don't is, or don't have the money, or don't have the time. Start asking yourself probing questions to figure out how you can achieve whatever it is you want to achieve in your business. Also, I want to leave you with, remember, unlimited future is here to support you in any way that we can. This is what we do. We provide technical assistance and coaching in good times and bad to help people keep the doors of their business open. So please, if you have questions or want to just talk through some of the talking points that we've discussed here today, and you want to bounce those ideas off of someone else, please don't hesitate to contact us at 304 697-3007. I appreciate your time and hope that this video has been beneficial for you and your business. I hope you have a great day 
in my best wishes.